Hi, I'm Con from Cancer Dojo, and I make people harder to kill. I was diagnosed with brain cancer. Emergency surgery, they said. Boom, I was hit with, with the feelings of fear, confusion, and helplessness. I, I, I had to sign this form that said when I woke up from my brain surgery, I might be blind, I might be deaf, I might not wake up at all. I felt completely helpless at the mercy of the world's most feared disease. And when patients are in this helpless state, our immune systems are compromised, making it harder for our bodies to fight the disease. This vicious cycle compounds over 8.8 .8 million people who die from cancer around the world every single year. But we can change this dynamic the can with the Cancer Dojo mobile support tool built to shift the patient's mindset from helplessness to actively engaged in their own healing, which is shown to boost the immune, boost, um, the immune function over time and build resilience to enable cancer, with a, uh, cancer patients with a, with a better chance of a more ca uh, positive cancer outcome. It's like a cancer coach in your pocket that trains you through 16 different levels of behavior change methodology using gamification, um, creative challenges and tasks that are informed by the cancer and Lancet cancer studies, uh, uh, cancer studies on immunology, resilience, and behavior change. We have recently partnered with the University of Cape Town's immunology department to generate further data in this exciting field. Um, to our knowledge, there are no other products like Cancer Dojo that specifically train patients to become more resilient during that, that healing process. Our target audience is global. There are 40 million people around the world living with cancer. Our app is available on app stores next week. It has a once-off $80 in-app fee. And for every app, app downloaded, another one is, is donated to a cancer nonprofit. Our first client, Merck, have pre-purchased the first 1,000 apps for their clients in South Africa and are looking to scale that into North and Central Africa next year. My team and I are all top in our fields. We're all connected by cancer and have a combined skill set of advertising, marketing, behavior change, technology, and cancer survival. We also have two of South Africa's top professors of oncology on our, on our advisory board and 230 pro bono creators of content around the world. Um, we're seeking $450,000 for 20% of our business to scale Cancer Dojo in terms of reach, product updates, marketing, custom acquisition over the next two years. We're looking for partners who can help us train cancer patients to become harder to kill and increase the global cancer survival rate while decreasing its burden of cost. Thank you. Thanks, Con. Cool. The story is always very compelling. Thank you for sharing. Cool. Um, how do you plan on leveraging the B2B partnerships and your revenue model in cool. the very, very uh, short term? So short term, we are using B2B because we have, we have basically placed, put all our funds into the product, um, which will be available next week. Um, we have very little money for marketing, hence the, the funds that we are looking for. But our strategy for the next 6 to 12 months will be a B2B. So we're aiming at pharmaceutical companies um, and um, health insurers to buy bulk apps for their, for their clients um, using voucher codes. Um, and obviously, the more you buy, the less the price. Um, and then once we get marketing, we'll be able to scale it more towards the B2C. And people can download direct from the App Store, which they still can. But we're looking at different versions. I'm going to ask you the same question as before. Yep. Beyond money, what else can people here in the audience do to help you make this dream come true? So Cancer Dojo is less a product and it's more of a movement whereby we can change the way patients around the world, the way humans view cancer. Um, we can change the lexicon from negativity to positivity, start looking at things like gamification, um, virtual reality, where patients are playing an active role in their own healing has, is shown to improve um, resilience and better immune function over time. So it's about collaborating, getting the world to, to collaborate around using different technologies to solve this problem.
Yes, right. we'll follow up on that. If you think about the thing that's surrounding the patient that's give them all sorts of other messages from the ones you're trying to provide. Yes. What are you doing to the related communities other than the patient themselves? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. What are you doing? Are you affecting practitioners? Are you talking, yes. working with families? I mean, because everyone else is giving them a very different message from the one you're trying to provide. Exactly. So we have literally got oncologists on board, and it's a tool for oncologists. The second version of the app will provide oncologists with detailed information about how from a psychological point of view, where their patients are on their journey, how they're feeling. So when an oncologist meets a cancer patient coming in, they don't have a lot of time. The cancer nurses, the oncology nurses, understand um, the dynamic for the, between the patient and the, and the medicine. So when they arrive at the doctor, their oncologist, the oncologist knows, okay, this guy's doing his third round of radiation, and this is how he's feeling. This is where his head is. This is where his psychology is. He can then create a, a better relationship. So data is hugely important, but yeah, it needs to happen. Patients around the world need this. Thank you.